So I'm going to open up the model. There's my DWG. I'll go ahead and open it up. So here's my point cloud with my, you can see the assets here, are the, they got the 2D footprints inserted based off the connection to the 3D objects. And I could bring assets in here, but I'm gonna focus on using AutoCAD architecture for bringing in walls and columns, etc. So let's go ahead and take a look at that workflow. On the factory tab here, I'm gonna turn off the real view. and turn off the indicators and the names. One thing that I could do now is I could start drawing walls and stuff that would connect to the point cloud points, which that's a possibility, but I found that that can get a little bit tricky because they're on all kinds of different levels. What I could also do though, is I could actually extract geometry out and put it into an AutoCAD format, whether it's pulling off edges or points or pulling off a geometry off a section that I could then use to begin sketching the walls. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my home tab here and create a couple layers. I'm going to create a new layer that I'll call extracted points and edges. And I'll make that, let's make that red. I'll create another one that I call extracted section. And I'll make this maybe like a nice cyan. So I'm going to set my extracted points and edges. If I select my point cloud, I get this edge and corner command. So what I can do here is I can go to Edge, and Edge will allow me to pick two planes that it's interpolating from the cloud, and then it'll create an edge along there for me. I can do the same thing over here in the corner. Get the floor. And this wall. something similar over here. The way the points work, or the corners, I select three planes. So if I wanted to find the corner where this column would be, I can pick the three planes, or the two that those meet, and then the larger floor. So now if I turn off my point cloud by going to the point cloud manager, let's turn off the point cloud altogether. You can see I've got the different edges set up that I'm ready to use for my extraction. Let's take a look at how the extraction will work. So if I select my point cloud, it will then allow me to create a section plane off of the view cube orientation or off of picking two points. I typically pick, in this case, the top, and it's gonna arbitrarily pick a plane for me. I look at it from the side here, you can see there's that plane, but I can then pick on that and then locate that plane. So let's go ahead and do that. If I pick this section plane, I 
I can then specify a number here. I typically use something like five to give me just a nice thin slice here of that region. And then with that section selected still, I have generate section block or extract section lines. And I usually use the extract section lines. It wants me to pick a point cloud. So I'm going to pick this point cloud here. It's going to say, do I want the entire cross section or just the perimeter? I use the entire cross section. I'll tell it to put everything on my extracted check section layer and use the layer coloring. I can say I want lines or 2D polylines. Here I can tell it how many of the points to process. You can see here I can go from one minute to all of about five minutes to process. I usually put myself somewhere right about here where it's going to be about two or three minutes to process. I find the minimum length and the connection tolerance not to be the best. I usually set the minimum length down to like a quarter. I set the connection tolerance to about an inch. The collinear angle tolerance seems to be pretty decent. And then you can see there's an option for me here to preview my results. So I'm going to go ahead and tell it to create. It's going to take about three minutes to do that. So it's processing the geometry and now it's finished. You can see here now it's, it's showing me what it's collected and I can tell it if I want to accept or undo. I'll tell it to accept those. And there we go. If I want to get rid of that sectioning, I can turn off the live section and it'll still leave the section plane, but leave everything off. Now, one thing that it didn't do is it didn't ignore the different regions that we had turned off it those are going to be incorporated in this.